Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Because look what we got. This is a Switch. It's um more or less brand new, but it was actually returned because some stupid kid didn't realize that it had connection issues if you were too far away from the base. Boy, he's going to be kicking himself for this later. Or she. I don't really care because it's my, my gain, their loss. So it's not... You know, we're going to do an unboxing video of the Switch. Uh, already, I look just... The box is really nice looking. And look, that hand even looks like mine. So, because it was returned, these parts aren't properly sealed, so... We're just going to have to take a look and see. That actually makes my job easier because there won't be any, like, crinkly bits that we're going to have to try to sort through. So, right over here... This is the dock. Oh, shit. Well, I mean... Hey, look, we also got Breath of the Wild. Okay, that was going to be a surprise, but whatever. So we have the dock here. It's, um, not Only bad. Only cool kids get Breath of the Wild in their Switch. Only cool kids get Breath of the Wild in their Switch, yes. So, uh, you not? Because you're not in the club. <laughs> I the club. <laughs> so, uh, this is, um, this is new. Uh, this is, um... I've heard really good things about this game. It's um, everybody's talking about this on social media and in real life, so you know, I it's not really much of a surprise to me. But uh, I'm very excited to play it. I've heard this is definitely one of the best Zelda games to date, if not the best. So we've got the bits and bobs here. We got the power cord. Looks uh, pretty vintage. That's pretty cool. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, one and two. These are the end caps for the Joy Cons. So they're pretty cool as well. Now, this is the gray style. They also come in um, a really bright and tacky blue and neon red. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I don't know how many other people were thinking what I was thinking, but it's it, it's just it's it's plastic. It's not like a rubbery coating or a waxy covering or anything like that. So it comes off pretty easily. You just press the release button and um, you can take it right out. And... Um, I'm going to do the same for this one. Doing this with one hand is not actually that difficult. If I can get the right button here. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to slide that right out. And um, the buttons are very nice. They uh nice clicky. This one's trying to find something that it is not going to be able to connect to for a while. <laughs> um, press that one in. Minus button. Two shoulder pads. And... uh. Yeah, it's not very, uh, it, it feels pretty streamlined. It's um, not as small as it looked in the commercials and when they presented it um, during that live stream. HDMI cable is really friggin' short, um, so you're going to need to be right up close hugging the TV for this thing. It's probably not even three feet long. And then this is the uh, the pad. It uh, so far does not charge the Joy-Cons while they're on it, although uh, rumor has it they're working on something like that if they don't have one already, but that would, of course, be an extra accessory that probably cost like 100 bucks. But hey, whatever. It's uh, People say that the Pro Controller is worth getting, but that's only if you have gargantuanly large hands. Uh, I don't. And uh, I did um, I did kind of hold this for a bit before I started this video, and it uh, it feels pretty good. So, now all that's left to open is um, the most important part of this. This is actually the console. And if I can get these uh, bag noises off the video. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta it's the uh, Switch tablet. This is all the data stored in here. This is the console. This is uh, the screen, console, everything. It's... Uh, fortuitously already has a screen protector on it because, you know, those are, if you've, if you've been hearing the rumors, uh, the those dock is, those are, those are needs, not wants at this point. And, uh, it's got a thing that you can, it's like a kickstand that I can't seem to open. I'm not going to worry about that right now. You don't really care about that, I'm sure. Uh, the only thing you're missing inside there is an extra slot for expandable storage. An extra slot for expandable storage, in case you didn't hear that. I got the kickstand open. So it sits nicely right up like that, and uh, get the gunk off. So this would basically function in the way that uh, you know any tablet would. It feels it's probably about maybe about two three pounds. It's very light. It's it's nice, and uh, that's about it. So I'm going to 
do a cut now and then come back to edit the footage when this is all set up. So I've turned it on, and uh, as you can see, the controller, at least in my hands, not really that bad. It's uh, The buttons are not too far away from each other, and of course, you know, it does look very square, but that's just the shape that the two Joy-Cons give off. And um, so it's in the dock. Looks very, very nice. And uh, the home screen, as you can see up here, is uh, pretty... It's simple, but in a, in a, in a good way. It's... It's um, user-friendly, user -friendly. yes, that's what I'm looking for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, um, after showing you how it just looks to hold, very gently pop these out of the holders here, and uh, we're going to take this thing on the road. Look at that, that is so cool, and it's it's nice and light too. I, uh, that's, that's really good. This is, it's kind of like the Wii U tablet, but, uh, less thick, more flat, which, depending on who you are, is not really a bad thing either. Um, I'm putting it back in the dock real quick so that, uh, I'm just popping it out so we can put this game in. And, um, the game, I... <laughs> As we, as we brought on before, really good game, but here's something I wanted to show you because I don't know how many people of you have seen this. So in case you didn't know, Nintendo's gone back to cartridges. They are cheaper and uh, a waste of plastic, but uh, I'm sure they recycle because go Nintendo. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to do this on video, but uh, allegedly these things taste horrible. And they do that to prevent kids from, you know, sticking in their mouths. You know, it's a good premise, but it's, uh, let's just say it's led to a lot of viral YouTube videos that I would not recommend watching if you're squeamish or if you hate people having fun. <laughs> so we're just going to put it in, and there's a little tab right up here. It works the same way as, you know, any electronic device with an SD card does. You pop it in facing towards you, and... A nice gentle click. We'll turn it on again and see. Whoops, that's uh, turning it off because I guess when you put a new game in, it automatically detects when there's a game in this in the thing. So now let's wait for this to recognize it's got a game inside of it. It is not 6:58 p.m. I'm going to have to fix that later. Press the A button to continue. Okay, so now I'm holding one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so my roommates over there, they, they've got one of these, so they uh, <laughs> didn't realize that you had to press a button. Uh, That's the true home menu. So this is a nice home menu. So we've got news, we got eShop, we got album, controllers, system settings, and sleep mode. So this is pretty basic, and... Uh, that's all. This isn't going to be a Breath of the Wild gameplay video, or this would have to be 10 hours long at least. So now the only thing that's left to be done is to see how this looks when you have these little individual things. I'll show you the little end caps that you saw earlier. And here's one thing that even I know is very important. Make sure that you line up these two symbols. Plus go with plus, minus goes with minus. Because these have been known to get stuck and have been nigh impossible to remove. So you just slide it in and you hear a very faint click. It almost doesn't feel like it's in at all. But uh, this is how you take this, um, this is basically the controller functioning by itself if you have the mini games or anything like that. You can do the same with the other one here. Again, minus with minus, but you know, the other, the other one's already in there, so that's not a problem for here. And you just uh, very gently slide it on in. Oh my goodness, that is nice and slide proof there. Oh, I must be doing something wrong. I don't want to break this. Well, let's just forget about that for now. Um, <laughs> I like this. It's um, not as small as it looks, at least not uncomfortably so. The uh, dock is very nice, and um, in tablet mode, it's, it's very comfortable. And you can take this thing on the go, and this is why this, they call this a console hybrid. 
And to just to remove this thing, you just, uh, I imagine it has something to do with this white. So yeah, you just pull this little off-white uh, handle down and, uh, and pop it right back up again. Right, no, it's the button on the back. Well, that's a mystery for another day. So that's the switch unboxing. Um, not really much else to it. This is a beautiful console that many people, including myself, have been excited about ever since it was originally known as the NX.